In this video, I will guide you through a problem in Smith's Organic Chemistry. I'm Stoddard, founder of Study Chem, the place for students to turn for higher grades in OCHEM. Let's get started. Problem 9.1 starts us off with a molecular formula, and we're asked to draw some uh, constitutional isomers of alcohols and ethers, as many things as we can think of, and classify the alcohols and ethers according to their structure. So what I like to start out with is just draw four carbons in a line because the formula has C4, uh, four carbons, C4, right? And I'll just stick um, an OH here at the end. And the very first thing I do is I uh, double check uh, the hydrogen count to make sure that we have the correct molecular formula. And so I'll tick off the hydrogens here. We have a total of um, 10 hydrogens. So that's a good molecular formula. There are no rings or double bonds here. This uh, dotted carbon is connected to one carbon, so that's going to be uh, primary. Now, if you have a four carbon length uh, chain, you can also bring this OH off of a branch point here, and this is a branched alcohol. So um, this dotted carbon is connected to two carbons, so we would call this a secondary alcohol, okay? Now, we can, uh, that's all that we can do there. Now, if we have a three carbon length uh, chain, we can position a methyl group, the missing carbon, and the OH group off of different carbons here. We can bring the methyl group off the central carbon and the OH off the central carbon, giving us um, this alcohol here. Um, this carbon is connected to three, so this is a tertiary alcohol. Another way we could set this up is to uh, put that methyl group off of the uh, central uh, carbon here, number two, and but put the OH group coming off of carbon three. It's just another statistical possibility. And you can see how this alcohol is a primary alcohol. So I've come up with four here. I hope I'm not missing any. Now let's think about um, ethers. We have four carbons. And so we can split these up in different ways. We can put um, two carbons coming off the left and two carbons coming off the right. Okay, that would give us a symmetrical um, ether. We could also have three carbons coming off one way and one carbon coming off another way. So this is an asymmetrical um, now these three carbons, remember, they don't need to be just in a line, they can be a branch. So if we take a look at, um, at, at this portion here, a propyl is what I have drawn, but I could also have an isopropyl. So let me go ahead and do that here. So there's an isopropyl group. So that's the, um, another possibility. So that's asymmetric, an asymmetric ether. So this uh, compound, uh, this formula C4H10O, has quite a few compounds that you can draw for it. Um, thanks for watching.